Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, one of the things I learned when I became Muslim is that giving way to our anxiety by asking what if is a door for shaitan. A door for Satan to come into our minds and distract us and keep us worried about things that either we can't control or worried about things that we haven't even went through yet. And part of being Muslim is how we react to things. Actually, a big part of being Muslim is how we react to things. If we're given a lot of money, how do we react? How do we actually treat that money? What do we do with it? If we aren't given any money, how do we react? What do we do when we are struggling? Similarly, if we have diseases or if we're healthy, what do we do with ourselves? And who do we turn to when it gets bad? But more so, who do we turn to for continual guidance, even when it's good? There's hadith in, in the Quran that talks about the people who, when they are in need, when they're struggling or going through a major suffering with health or difficulty, they turn to Allah and they ask him for help. And Allah gives that help. And then as soon as everything is good again, they stop praying to Allah. And a lot of that stems, goes into the anxiety we have when things are going bad or when we think things are going to go bad. We immediately do whatever we can or whatever we think would possibly help our situation. So we pray more when we're going through difficulty. And asking what if just prolongs that state of anxiety. And uh, it, instead of leading us to prayer, leads us to more anxiety and thinking more about, well, what if this happens? And what if this happens? And when we're plagued with this what if, we're caused to be stuck. And so we're not moving forward. We're not moving backward, but we're not moving forward. And we aren't giving ourselves the opportunity to actually react to the things that are happening to us or haven't happened yet. We get stuck on that what if. Shaitan warms his way into our heads and starts making us feel insecure, insufficient, like we don't know what to do. But as Muslims, we know what to do. We need to turn to Allah. We need to pray and keep praying. Like, if you are blessed with something, you don't or shouldn't immediately start thinking, what if it goes away? Because then you're stuck trying to protect something that you didn't have 20 minutes ago or two years ago. And uh, I thought about this a lot, especially when I was making the decision to move from America to Bangladesh. And even before then, about being with my husband, choosing my husband. A lot of people were throwing what-ifs at me. 
What if he's lying to you? What if something bad happens? What if you get there and the marriage falls apart? What if, what if, what if? But if I had listened to the what ifs, I wouldn't have moved in the first place. I wouldn't have accepted the blessing of marriage. I would have been stuck in that idea that what if it's too good to be true? But the thing about blessings of Allah is that they're not too good to be true. Good things do happen and we need to accept them fully. And those what ifs have no place in our heads because those what ifs just plague us with inaction and cause us to forget to pray or be too stuck in our heads to pray and forget about Allah and what we're supposed to be doing. So try not to listen to the what ifs because those what ifs have no place in our lives. Those what ifs don't benefit us at all. Those what ifs just hold us in the same place hostage of our anxiety and our fears. And that's what Shaitan wants. He wants us to stay inactive. He wants us to stay put. Again, not moving backwards, but not moving forwards. And I'm really happy that I stopped listening to the what ifs. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't have fulfilled half my deem with marriage. And I wouldn't have the adventure of a lifetime of living my life with my spouse happily, regardless of what country. Alhamdulillah. So don't listen to those what ifs. And if Shaitan comes knocking at that door, like the door knock just now, don't open it. Those what ifs aren't going to lead you anywhere. I tried to make an analogy there, but I don't know if it worked. Anyways. May Allah keep you happy, healthy, and safe. Assalamu alaikum. And the video is still going because I can't stop the